Hello and yes, welcome to another one of my videos. Today we are going to be checking in on the citizens of Pleasant View in my sims. Now, since the last time you saw me, I've been playing a reasonable amount. I am now up to almost 58 hours, but as you can see, we have a four-star town, and we are rapidly approaching a five-star town. So, I've been doing a lot of essence hoarding, a lot of uh, towny building, a lot of workshop blueprint moulding, and I have, well first of all, we have this disco ball, and we have this desk, uh, and a pizza, you know, just in case anybody wants to come over and visit. We have a lovely rug in front of the door, so they can wipe their feet and get all the germs off before they enter my beautiful, if a little, sparse house. So, one of the things I did was clear out this forest in my back garden and plant lots of lovely black roses. It's now, it's my understanding that the more sort of these beautiful trees, which some might claim are haunted. The more haunted trees that you plant, the more your neighbourhood becomes spooky and attracts spooky sims to move in. So if you click on the map in the corner, so if you click on the map in the corner, we can see a graph here about Pleasant View, which it is 52% spooky, 46% studious, 33% tasty, 31% geeky, 40% cute, and 28% fun. So over here, I planted some more spooky trees. These trees have eyeballs on them. Don't they look delicious? These trees have black apples on them. I would love a black apple. I, is this something that is in Japan? I know Japan has white strawberries. Does Japan also have black apples. Anyway, so what I figured out between my 17 plus hours of playing is that in order to invite sims to live in your town, you have to meet them walking around first. And then you go to your relationship book. And everybody you've ever met is there and you can click on them and <sighs> a little icon should appear it doesn't appear for everybody but here as you can see you can click invite back and when you invite back a sim let me do it with somebody who i actually want to move in um liberty okay okay i can 
I'm a little confused. This says invite back bean. I'm gonna click it anyway. Yeah. I, yes. Are you sure you want to invite Liberty back? Okay. Look for Liberty to be back in the hotel soon. So now, after a few cycles of days and nights, I'll get a pop-up notification saying that Liberty is in the hotel and she usually arrives with four other randomised guests and those guests are randomised depending on how spooky or studious or cute your town is. So that's why I've been planting a lot of spooky trees in order to attract spooky sims. So here are some more spooky trees that I planted. Here are some pumpkins or jack-o'-lanterns. And here is a lemon tree. And I put the lemon tree next to Ms. Nicole's boutique. Now last time, I didn't even remember that this area existed. Um, but if you follow this path over this bridge here, you'll also find Shirley's Beauty Cellar. And then you'll find this, which is the path to the desert. And I had actually unlocked this last time and didn't even know about it. That is how much I had forgotten about my sims, is that I kept seeing all these tips saying if you get lost in the desert, place a marker so you don't lose your way, and I was like, well I haven't unlocked the desert yet, but turns out I have, and there are three sims living in there currently, so we'll go visit them, but first we're going to check in on Ms. Nicole and see if we can give her any items or build anything for her. Hello! Okay. Darling, you're perfect in green. Green is definitely the colour for you. I disagree. ho ha ha -tidly. The colour for me is purple. So she doesn't want anything building, but I love this peacock rug. I wish I could have it in my house. Anyway... We shall go check on her sister. Her sister lives next door. She is Ms. Nicole. Oh no, she is Shirley. That's Ms. Nicole. Ms. Nicole owns the boutique. Shirley owns the salon. And they are sisters. Okay, so this is Shirley's salon. <laughs> and as you can see, there are some hair drying devices up there that are missing salon seats. Now we've already built this one. This was here previously. Um, and there's a fridge, and a cooker, and a table, and a chair, and a bathtub, and a bed. Now, I am unfamiliar with what items I've built. I think if I go into... I, I think I've figured out a way to find out now. So I go to um, Shirley. And I offer to give her some stuff. And we have some stuff that we have been building for Shirley. So we can place these straight away. 
But before we do that, what we can actually do is grab every single grabbable item. And it is to my understanding that anything we have built, we can put back in our backpack. So this, so this was already here from the get-go because we can't put it in our backpack. But this chair, no, this was already here from the get-go. Um, I might be just making stuff up. Um, perhaps, did we build anything here? This cooker? No. Um. Okay. Disregard all of that. Okay, so... For Shirley... I have some more salon seats. They are in my inventory. I have one here. Woohoo! Can I just say after playing hours and hours of this? I have grown to hate weak motion controls. <laughs> Holding my arm up is so strenuous. Okay, so I think Shirley's done. Shirley has given you a cell on screen. We can put that in our house now. Just um, because it's not centered. There we are. But she's done for now. I think when you get those fireworks at the end, that's like saying this sim is done, they don't want anything more from you. So we can leave Shirley now. And go explore the desert. So, here we are in the desert, as you can see here, the desert is quite big. <clears throat> now, becoming a level 4 town gave me access to the blowtorch, which means we can explore locked areas like this. But before we do that, we're going to visit these three houses. We've got Raven's Perch, Dolly's Costumes, and Travis's House. So 
So I've been building a lot for Dolly off screen. I've built these two chairs and this, no, I didn't build the table. I just built the chairs. I built this sort of one and this one. I built them one after the other, but I couldn't remember how to make them identical. Um, so, one has a shapely bottom and one has a shapely top. I guess you could say they are a seat for a boy and a girl. I guess. <laughs> um, I built this mirror. And I built this costume. Um... which allows me to dress up in the costume shop. Um, I quite like my clothes. Oh, I can I can re I can revert. Okay, so let's randomize and see what costumes I can Okay. Where are my glasses? <laughs> I quite like that. I might just keep the crown actually. Can I uh revert and keep the crown? Gives me such voluminous hair. Ooh, hippie. Bunny ears. Helmet. Yeah. Um, Miss Crumple Bottom hat. A pirate hat. A hat with cherries on. Okay, so, I mean, it would be rude not to, but unfortunately, the, the only one I think we can pull off are these ears, because that is similar to my hairstyle. Uh, we can give ourselves some um, face paint. Okay, so I think we'll go with the... Whiskers... And... The bunny ears. Oh, the, no, those are cat ears, sorry. I mean, it would be rude to leave looking the same as we did. So there we are. I also built this bed, which I really like because it floats off the wall. And I built this table made out of dogs. No, it's not made out of dogs. It's just made out of dog statues. So those are all the things I built for Dolly. Um, and she is satisfied now. She doesn't want anything more.
uh, Raven lives somewhere here. Now, Raven came with this hot tub. I highly doubt I built it. Uh, but she does have an empty room, so I'll just check if she wants me to build anything. This is Raven's issue. She says she needs a hot tub. But clearly she already has one. So I've found this with two other sims. Is that they'll ask for something but it won't come up as an official task. You see if you go in your backpack and you click on task book. Here are all the tasks I've been working on. So, if she really wanted a hot tub, it would appear here. But it doesn't. So, we'll just have to ignore Raven. So, Raven has some <laughs> sunflowers growing on trees, which, you know, is perfectly natural. Uh, we are looking for Travis's house, which is not that way. It is this way. It's up these steps here. This is Travis's house. Travis is a tasty sin. Okay, so Travis has a telephone, a gumball machine. I think he, Travis is into sports. Now, Pirate Ginny is somebody that I would like to move into the town, um, but, yeah, it didn't give me the option, so I might have to talk to Pirate Ginny a few more times. But, um, here is Travis's very uncomfortable looking... What are you doing here? We're just going to walk in on you using the bath. And Travis's bedroom, which we might actually just... Oh, actually, I want to see if there's a ghost. I found a ghost wandering around the desert. At night time. Um, so I'm going to go see if I can find this ghost. Travis has... Lots of fruit outside his um, house. There's some oranges. So 
bananas. And of course some limes. Now we're gonna walk over to this locked area here and do some exploring. <laughs> Just click there. It places a flock. And then we can follow the arrow. And here we are. So here is a locked area which we can break with our blowtorch. Ooh! And it loads a new area. I've never been here. Oh wow, it's like a, an abandoned car park. We can prospect for car parts, I would imagine. Tires, maybe? No? Anything? 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 Ooh. Here? Here we go. Aliens! We've discovered aliens. This will actually become relevant. Because we've moved in Professor Nova. And Professor Nova has a bit of a penchant for aliens. We got some stars. <gasps> Ooh, we got some rockets. So usually places only hold three items. So we know here we can find aliens, stars, and rockets. Trees made out of metal. Oh, we can oil these trees. What is this? Robot! Now, Makato is a robot I've met. But again, it didn't give me the option to move her into town, so I need to talk to her a few more times. What are these? <gasps> Springs! And 
these um, <laughs> gears. So I think that's all that there is in this area, but that's quite, that's, that's six new essences. Let me just see if this works here. So I think there might be nine essences overall. Ooh, we need some pencils actually. Oh, Libba is in the hotel. I think... Professor Nova gave us a task that involves pencils. Yes, Professor Nova needs a bookshelf with 15 pencils and 20 light wood. Essences. We have the light wood. We didn't have the pencils until now. So I'm just going to try and find some more pencils and then we'll go visit Liberty. Pencils. Pencils. <laughs> Pencils! <laughs> Here we go. So I think 15 is enough. Now we can go back into town and visit the hotel. In fact, I think we'll do that on the next episode. This one's been quite long. We've done quite a lot. Discovered eight new essences. And dropped off some items for Shirley at the salon. And also, how can we forget, we now look like a kitty! Okay. Mm-hmm. 
Ooh. 